After this video, you will know how to make money abroad as an expat. Welcome to How to Expat. My name is Sam and I'm an expat in Colombia. Our mission here is to help expats or soon to be expats to start their journey, avoid gringo prices and settle down hassle free. So your dream is it to become an expat, but you don't know how to earn money abroad. I would like to tell you how I did it and how you can make it possible as well. So the great thing about earning money here as an expat like in Colombia is that you gain a lot more money than you spend in comparison to like if you stay in the US you earn US dollars and you spend US dollars here if you earn US dollars and you spend like in my example Colombian pesos you get a lot of more bang for your buck as you would if you would stay in the US so this is really what your goal should be to earn US dollars and to spend like in my example Colombian pesos so how can you make that possible there are different ways how to make money as an expat uh, in Latin America. Briefly here are my four examples. One is to work for an international company or a company in your home country from abroad. Then another thing is to work for a local company. The third thing is to open your own company. This can be a brick and mortar company like here in Latin America or it could be an online company that's maybe location independent but you just do it from wherever you want and the most classic example out of all is of course teaching English here in Latin, Amer Latin America either online or here in a school um, wherever you want so right off the bat I want to debunk one thing that you can work here for a local company of course there are some examples to these rules but Usually, if you want to work for a, for a local company, like you see in the Facebook groups, a lot of people ask, yeah, I'm searching for a job in Colombia, can somebody uh, yeah, suggest a, a company I can apply for in Colombia? But the wages here in Latin America are so much lower than you used to in, in the US or in Europe, that it really doesn't make sense to work for a, for a local company here. Like examples are people here work for five, six hundred dollars a month. So probably this will not be the budget you have if you want to stay here in Latin America. A better idea is to work for an international company. They will have pay way higher salaries than a local company here does if you're just normal on the, on the job market. One thing you could do is to search in any search engine like Google, jobs in, I don't know, Nicaragua or jobs in Costa Rica or wherever. Or you can go to an employment agency because foreign workers here in Latin America, especially from the US, are rare to find. So maybe you have a chance there with, uh, with a job agency that can transfer you to a company, to an international company here. And if you're lucky, you can earn very good wages here. But let me just say, these will probably be normal 9 to 5 jobs. And if that's not what you want, maybe you're really interested to be an expat because you don't want to be in the 9 to 5 job, then it's probably best, and this is what I would recommend, to open your own business. But before we go into how to open your own business here in Latin America and how to gain money that way, I just want to tell you one other way you can make it happen to work for an international company and to gain money here in Latin America. So maybe you're already a graphic designer, a front or back-end developer or an internet marketing guy or whatever and you do home office anyway from where for the company you're working now. So maybe you can make a deal with your boss. So imagine that you're the boss and an employee comes to you and says, boss, I have an idea. I earn, let's say, $3,000 a month. I lower that to $2,500 a month. I work four out of five days anyway in my home office. Let's make that five days out of the week so I don't come to the, to the company during the week and I will go and stay in like Costa Rica. So it's really a win-win situation. You get paid a very, very good salary if you get paid $2,500 a month. You have social security and all that stuff. And your employer saves $500 for just, yeah, no reason because usually people have jobs in our digital world that does not require to go into the office uh, every day. 
So maybe uh, you have to travel with this kind of, of agreement. Maybe you have to be in, in your company, like if you're in the States, for once every two months or something like that. But maybe you can make it happen like this. Just make a deal with your boss and you work for him, uh, but abroad. So what probably most people want to do is to work for themselves. So it's probably, or most of the time, uh, a really one thing that the people want to do, they want to be experts for many reasons, but one reason is that they can break out of the of the nine to five job cycle. So this probably means to open your own business. You can do that in two ways, either a brick and mortar business here in Latin America or a digital company. One brick and mortar uh, idea or brick and mortar ideas are opening a restaurant here, open a bar. These are really common types of businesses expat open here. And probably you are able to be very successful with that because when you're in a town you compete with locals, you can uh, go for the tourists. So the tourists like punctuality, the tourists like good amenities. And you as a person from a developed world know how to cater your, your guests like tourists. This is really a, a competitive advantage you have against a local competition. So if you want to take advantage of that and open a brick and mortar business, a lot of people do it this way with the restaurants, catering tourists, with the hotel catering tourists, tourists uh, guides or all that kind of stuff. You can make it happen as well. Then another thing what I really would recommend, I did it this way. I uh, was a sales guy in my company back in Switzerland and during three years uh, as a side project I uh, taught myself how to do online business how to do Google AdWords, how to do graphic design and all that kind of stuff. Um, and after uh, the, these three years, I was confident enough to say, okay, I quit my job and I work as a freelance, uh, like web developer, all that kind of stuff. So this is how I made it happen. And there is a great deal of money which can be made here. But let me say, it's not an easy job. I did a lot of research, I did many hours of learning, training, side project while I was working my full-time job. So it's not like that it's maybe sometimes portrayed with the digital nomad thing that yeah, you just can go anywhere and work from abroad and yeah, just make a living easily. But I will do a separate video about my journey and how I made it happen. So stay tuned if you want to know how I made it happen, maybe it helps you as well. And the classic example, of course, is to teach English abroad. This is probably for the people that have, and this may, may sound a little bit harsh, but maybe have no other skills than teaching English, or have uh, not yet found their way how to make money with what they can offer the world. So this can be a very good idea to start your expat life, uh, to, to, uh, to teach English, or maybe if you're from Germany, German, because on one hand you can do it online, so you teach, uh, most, most of the people do it for people in, chi in China. Because a lot of people want native speaking people to teach them English because they don't have the accent, like a, I don't know, a Chinese accent or something like that in their English. And another thing is to work for a school here, but probably the pay won't be as good. Uh, as far as I've heard, you can earn maybe $1,000 to $1,200 a month or maybe $1,500 a month, depending on where you are as an English teacher. And this will just cover your cost of living probably here in Latin America. So yeah, there's a, a quite a ceiling uh, to how much money you can earn as an English teacher here in a local business. If you do it uh, online, of course, there is a ceiling as well because your clients in, in China can pay like uh, really high uh, salaries for you. But it's really uh, an option to start here uh, your expert life in Latin America. You can uh, make money abroad. And then while you're here for, I don't know, a half a year, one year, two years, you can get other ideas, you can teach yourself how to do online business, but probably to sustain a, a really a lifestyle here without savings, you need to work six or eight hours a day just to sustain or to, to be able to cover your monthly expenses. So this is a quick overview of how to gain money abroad. If you want more information or have a question, leave, a, uh, leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.